So the party was doing their explorations. And Fred the fighter was up in front when the combat broke out. And it seemed to be going badly for them. And at one point, Fred got completely surrounded. A couple of well-timed spells from Wally the Wizard, a few deft strikes from Rachel the Rogue, and a commanding presence by Connie the Cleric, as well as Fred's own swift blade. Soon, turn the tables and their enemies thought they were going to be able to run not so fast Fred very quickly managed to get a strike in on them just as they were starting to take a put of a step away and stopped the leader in his tracks the others fled but now the party had a prisoner that they could question. All because Fred the Fighter has the Sentinel feet. Hey everybody, welcome to Skills on Sunday for December 13th, 2020. I'm your host, DM Galavon, and today we are going to talk all about the Sentinel feet from D&D 5th edition and a little bit about where it has come from in the past. So let's go ahead and get on with that um, show. All right, so um, the Sentinel feat gives you a variety of different abilities, and there's no one clear antecedent in um, past editions. There uh, are several pieces cobbled together from uh, uh, feats that appeared in 3rd uh, edition, as well as a couple of unique abilities that are part of the Sentinel feat in 5e. So we're going to take a look at kind of where this comes from. In 3rd edition, you had a tree, the Combat Expertise three, uh, tree, and then you had also had combat reflexes. So these two sets of um, these two sets of uh, feats from third edition build into um, build into what is part of the Sentinel feat in 5e. So from combat expertise. Um, one of the things that we have is we have the improved trip. So this essentially allows you to um, to trip up an opponent and stop them from getting away. And then the combat reflexes gives you additional attacks of opportunity. So we're going to uh, take a look at the combat expertise. Uh, the improved trip and the uh, combat reflexes. So um, combat expertise, you're trained at using your combat skill for defense as well as offense. Uh, you use the attack action for full attack. You take a penalty of as much as five on your attack roll. Add the same number as a dodge bonus on your armor class. Character without combat expertise can fight defensively while using the full attack to take a minus four on attack rolls and gain plus two on it, uh, bonus on AC. And then combat reflexes, you can respond quickly and repeatedly to opponents who let their defenses down. When foes leave themselves open, you may make a number of additional attacks of opportunity equal to your dexterity bonus. So fighter with dexterity 15 can make three attacks of opportunity in one round, the one uh, they're entitled to plus two more because of plus two dex bonus. Yada, yada. Okay. All right. Uh, and then we have uh, improved trip. Uh, where's the improved trip? There we go. 
All right, you're trained not only in tripping opponents safely, but also in following through with an attack. So uh, you do not provoke an attack of opportunity when you attempt to trip an opponent while you are unarmed. You also gain a plus four bonus to your strength check to trip your opponent. If you trip an opponent melee, you immediately get a melee attack against the opponent as if you hadn't used your attack for the trip attempt. Okay, so now let's see how those all build into what is the Sentinel feat in 5th edition. So basically, a Sentinel feat means you've mastered techniques to take advantage of every drop in an enemy's guard, gaining the following benefits. Okay, so... When you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, the creature's speed becomes zero for the rest of the turn. It's, you're not mechanically knocking the um, opponent prone, but it's like you have tripped the opponent. You just stop them in their tracks with an opportunity attack. And then creatures provoke opportunity attacks from you, even if they take the disengage action before leaving your reach. So... Um, Normal rules disengage means you can forego uh, any uh, other action and simply move away your full movement rate without provoking opportunity attacks. But you cannot attack and disengage at the same time uh, under normal circumstances. This um, sentinel feat mitigates the enemy's ability to do that disengage. All right, and then another one that's really not part of... Uh, I couldn't find a good analogy in a previous edition of the game. is when a creature within five feet of you makes an attack against a target other than you, and the target doesn't have this feat, you can use your reaction to make a melee attack against the attacking creature. So uh, if you're standing shoulder to shoulder with one of your allies and the enemy attacks your ally uh, enemy in front of you attacks your ally you can take an opportunity attack against that enemy uh, because they attacked your ally so that's that's basically what that means um and uh i could not find that elsewhere in the uh in previous editions of the uh, game now i don't have every source book that's ever been written that f sounds and feels to me like something that they probably would have had in a resource uh, in a prior edition of the game so if you know uh, what ability or, or what uh, feat or what uh, skill or something would have given characters uh this in a previous edition go ahead and put that down in the comments below that uh that would be a nice thing to uh have for me and also for other people who come along and watch this at a future date hello future people all right um uh, that's gonna do it for combat sentinel if you like what we do here on the channel please subscribe to the channel like the video, share the video, and click the post notification bell so that you too can get notified every time new content drops. And um, we thank you for stopping by for Skills on Sunday. We hope that uh, you will check out the other videos on the channel, and we hope that we will see you back here next week. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Good night, everybody.